Hello and welcome to another episode of Codemy. Today we'll be building this simple UI for login uh, of any app or website. So this will be a basic uh, UI. Not there will not be any uh, validation er or validation errors or you can say any security on in this UI. So what we'll be building is this uh, two inputs, uh, which will have some focus effects. As you can see, whenever we uh, have some have focus they change the background color and have some outline like this and we have the button with some hover effect and also focus effect and then we have two links uh, to take us to other pages Uh, for now, what we have is uh, only a background. Uh, I have uh, this welcome component. I have imported it in the app component. And let's get rid of this. No, uh, we have app CSS. In the app CSS, what we have is this background image set to the background and everything put to the center. So we will not be needing uh, app.js or app CSS. And in the welcome JS for now, what we have is uh, we have imported React and also imported React icons as icons, uh, font awesome icons as icons. So let's go ahead and start building the uh, UI. Let's shorten it a little so that so we can see it on our screens. Sorry. Okay. So let's go ahead and start by having a simple container and inside the container we will have the heading that we saw heading and the logo for our product and we will give this a class of product product and inside this we will have uh, an h2 tag with the class name of title and inside this we will have icon the icon I used was icons dot fa cart arrow down and we'll have a text of shop easy inside our h2 and then we will have a tagline will this give this a class name of tagline and inside the tagline what we had was one place for all your needs all your needs let's save and see what we have here we have the logo the shop easy h2 tag and the uh, p tag p paragraph we also have this uh, small line oh, what we, what i did for that was just to uh, add a div empty div and give this a class name of uh, uh, let's say line break and just style this in the uh, in my comfort in, in my CSS. So let's go uh, before pro proceeding ahead. Let's go to our CSS and set some uh, give this some styling before moving ahead. So at this moment, I have uh, some basic color setup to use them in my uh, CSS. So let's give this our container, which will be uh, which will wrap everything in our uh, login UI this a width of like for pixels and also max width of 400 pixels give this a margin of one rem from each sides and give this a background of white and give this some shadow Shadow will be zero, zero, some black shadow of 40 pixels radius. Zero, 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 zero point two. Okay, and the last thing that we want to give it is the border radius, but let's see. Why don't we see the white? Okay, so this needs to be background, background, not the background color. Let's refresh. We still don't see it. Let's make sure we have the correct. Or we made some mistake in the uh, spelling. 
okay so we now have our container so let's go ahead and uh, style our uh, logo and the title of our app so inside our product let's say display flex align items center this will align them vertically centered and inside the we'll also say just a content center and give this flex direction of column so that they are not on the same line okay and we have uh, some different color for that let's add the coloring now for title we have uh, uh, color our color primary and the uh, font weight will be bolder and display will be flex align items center let's save and add some font size of 2.5 frame make it a little bigger and then let's add some spacing and to add some spacing we will give it a width of 80 percent of uh, our parent component that is the container and and justify this content with space around that's nice and then let's go give this some margin <clears throat> margin on the bottom just so this is some spaced apart like uh, 0.2 m that's i think okay okay so that's our uh, product let's go ahead and now style our tagline tagline we will also give this the color of uh, same color as our heading uh, primary and margin bottom of some hmm. uh, let's say let's say 0.5 at this moment and after that let's grab our line break in our line break we'll give this a uh, background color of primary light and height of five pixels and width of 100 percent 100 percent will be the width of its parent component that is the container and we'll add some margin to its bottom let's say 0 0.5 so we don't see the line because we have made a mistake in the spelling we still don't see the line let's say we have same spelling here now okay we can now see the uh, Okay, so why don't we see this? Uh, this is inside container. Let's move this here so that it has. Mm, let's give it width of 80%. Move this upwards again so that it is flexed and placed in the center. Okay, so we have some basic setup. Let's in increase this a little and also whatever we have beneath it let's increase that also and we'll also increase the margin up top uh, which will be title margin top and we'll give this a margin of the same 1.5 i think that's okay and let's add border radius the border radius okay so border radius we have border radius where why don't we see the change okay let's add four pixels like this okay we should not be adding it here this is not the title this is the container that we want to yes okay now it's okay so now go ahead and let's add two more files and we sign in dot js and another will be sign in dot css let's add the boilerplate code here and input it in our welcome file import sign in from sign in and uh, then inside our container 
this is our container div, right? Uh, render our sign in component here. So just to check if it is uh, if it imported it correctly, let's add some text like over. We are seeing it. Okay, now that's uh, fine. Okay, let's go ahead and start our sign in. What we have in sign in is two inputs and a button and then two links. So what we can do is we can go here and add a div or let's say add a form and action will be nothing for now. The class name for this will be form. Inside the form what we have is um, uh, we have this we have this thing here let's say if I type some wrong password and in a username we see this error message and it goes away when we type the correct one that is Kodemi Kodemi uh, so let's add that one first that will be a div and it will have uh, a message of incorrect username or password so we see that we will have some class names here let's uh, we'll add them later let's first uh, complete our form let's add another div and this div will have a class name of form input input group and inside this we will have a input uh, this will be of type text and there will be uh, some more things so in react what we have for inputs is we what we, we use a, a principle that is known as a single source of truth for example uh, that means that whatever we change on the screen whatever the change on the screen that we see comes from some state so if we have some uh, for example like our input like this and i change this this change is not coming from any state at the moment so what we want to do is we want to have some state the state that uh, that controls this uh, input that is also called controlled inputs so what we do what we'll do here we will go here and add a const uh, inputs set inputs and we'll set this to a user state and initially this will have uh, two things we have one our username and the second will be our email so let's go and add username this will be empty and then password this will also be empty in the uh, at the initially so if we go now here and add the value and set this to username sorry inputs dot username so that means now whatever the value inside this we will see will <coughs> will be coming from this input uh, state and uh, username property so at the moment if i type anything here you can see that nothing changes and we have a warning warning a component is changing an uncontrolled input to be controlled this is likely caused by the value changing from an undefined value which should not be happening let's refresh okay so this is the correct one you provided a value prop to a form field without an on change handler this will render a read only field uh, if the field should not be mutable to use default value otherwise set either on change or read only what what it is saying is that i have set this to uh, username uh, property of this inputs uh, state but I'm not changing this state anywhere. So what? I, so this will be a read-only file, a read-only uh, element. What I want to do now is add a on-chain handler. And for on-chain handler, we will have uh, a simple function that we we'll that we will be writing here. Uh, const handle change. And we will implement something here. For now, let's go ahead and add the password. This will be type of password, and 
let's add some two more properties here we'll also add name this will be username and this its name will be password and uh, let's also give them class names class name class name will be form input this will also have the same class name and here we also give it auto focus so what this means is when, when we land on this page we will be we'll have our cursor inside this and this will be on uh, focus when we uh, land on this page okay so uh, after that what we have is we have a button and two in uh, two texts so let's go and add the button now we have a button and the class name is uh, form button and this says sign in and then we have uh, text we, uh, i use span tag for that you can use uh, links of react router dom or you can use, use simply the a tags it's your call i use the span tag so let's give it a class name of form text and inside let's forgot your password and then have another span tag this will this is a already have an account log sorry not already have an account this will say don't don't have an account login here okay so we have all our things that we need on our uh, uh, form now let's go to css and start styling so first thing that we first thing that we need uh, i think is uh, did we add okay so let's add class name here form message this is the class name we have added all the class names let's now go ahead to our css file and start styling or let's first grab form message and give this a text align center margin bottom one ram and color will be var okay um what did i use Uh, let's just use red right here. Okay, let's hit. Why don't we see any changes? Did I import? No, we haven't imported the CSS file. Let's import the CSS file. Sign in dot CSS. We should be able to. Okay, we are seeing the changes now. Okay, so let's go ahead and now the form input group. So that is our these two here let's give them display of block and width of 100 percent why don't we see any changes should be on input group it's the same let's see width of 100 percent padding of 0 0.75 rem on each side box sizing will be border box okay we are not seeing the changes we're not this bit should be should work let's see why not for now let's add some border radius where border radius add some border one pixel solid um let's see light green oh no should be this okay and then if uh, some outline will be none background will be white or oh, let's change this background a little bit and then go transition 
background will be 0.2 seconds and we'll also give the background to border color uh, to of uh, 0.2 seconds we will not be having this here okay so there is something wrong with our css let's find out what is uh so this is the this is the group and this is the form input so i added this to form input group let's change this to form input save let's i maybe i'll have to refresh and form input group will have nothing but only the margin to its bottom let's refresh okay so we are now seeing the um changes here but we should should not be 100 percent let's why is this uh, let me see um so let's uh i don't know what why this is not coming in the uh, center let's remove this form what we can do here is just go here and give this some padding from left and right let's add some to them uh to left and right and zero so we can see it here and uh let's go in here again and uh, add some placeholder text text placeholder will be uh for this it will be username or email and for our password it will be password okay let's now go ahead and continue where we left off uh, for our input we have some focus uh, on hover or input and we will be having some effects on focus what we want to do is we want to change the border color to um, our primary uh, so here we had the some this cut this color and it will be on focus it will change so i did not save save on focus it will be changed to something to our okay this is a border color let's now change the uh, background background will be white when we you see that this is the border color this is changed to our primary color and the background is also changed so that have have that effect now let's now go ahead and style style our button form button let's add width of 100 percent and this should okay i knew that it's not 80 percent this will also not put it into center okay let's so let's add 100 percent for now uh, and add some padding of one and two them and font weight will be weight will be bold font size will be 1.1 m and color of the font will be white border will be none outline will be none i guess by default it is also none we'll give this some cursor three point pointer and border radius border radius is here border radius will be uh, same that we have in our variable and the background will be uh, our primary color and let's hit save we see our button let's add the button sorry form dash button hover and for hover what we want to do is just change the background to a darker color uh, that is our var primary dark we have this change 
and we also have the focus effect focus and in when we focus what we want to do is just transform scale 0 0.97 and this needs to be transformed so when we click this just changes the size and submits the form so the last thing that we want to do now is grab our form text display flex and justify content center margin one ram zero this should add some margin bottom margin some margin to them and what else cursor pointer uh, color will be var secondary and what we have uh, when we hover over that dot form text hover we just want to have the underline so when we have our word then we have the underline let's go ahead and add some state we have the state of uh, inputs here let's add another state so we have an attribute of on submit on submit in our form and by default when we click a button that is inside the form it submits the form and inside it you will have a handle submit function we'll just call this here and let's also add this here and submit so what we can do is now we have when we let type something here we have both of the values inside our json in, inside this input object inputs object what we can do is we can send that to our server or do validation some some validation here it's just console at this moment form submitted and if we want we can also say prevent default called instead saw an expression and that is on 11 console dot of from submitted yes okay so we have uh, this and let's also add another state to change whether or not it should be here we'll say is error set is error equal to a use state and initially it will be false and let's go here and uh, we'll check if his his error is true and if his error is true we'll give it some class name otherwise it will have the class name form error let's add error so initially it will be false let's say like this and go to our css uh, what did we have form message let's copy this one and add this underscore underscore error to our class and initially we will just say display we will not be So there is something it should like this okay so initially we will not be seeing this and if we have something in our uh, submit let's say for example if we check that if input start username is not equal equal to codemy we will say set is error to true and otherwise it will be set is error false okay so now if i type something here okay there is something wrong why don't i see it 
okay so i didn't uh, implement the handle change what we want to do in the handle change is so this will be fired from two places either uh, from our username input or our uh, you can say password input so there can be two ways to do it first of all let's grab the event that was fired and we can check if event dot target dot name equal equal to if it is username what we want to do is we can say set inputs and whatever the last value of inputs was let's let's use the spread up after for that and then we change the username to uh, event event dot target dot value i think that should be that should do it let's have some issue of undefined uh, we will need to fire the event from here also uh, this handle change method we, we will save refresh so we are now seeing the value here but what what is happening is we are also adding it to our password and why is that should not do that so we i forgot to change this to password here let's refresh now we can see that we can change the value here and for the password we can also do the same thing here and check if it is password what we do is we just set the password property of our uh, this with the save and one put password this is was no okay this is wrong let's see now we can also add it here so this is uh some you can say the redundancy of code what we can do here so for example if you have multiple uh inputs and you don't want to write uh if condition for every one of them so what you can do is you can use the destructuring of uh, es6 uh, javascript and you can do two things you can say you can get name and value from your uh from the event dot target event dot target uh, object and then you can just simply uh call your call your is uh, set input this and this uh, function and inside this you can pass the name whatever the name was and simply say values so what it will do is it will do the same thing but you will not have to write two things separately or maybe if you have some like four or five other things you will not have to write uh, if condition for every one of them so it will just you know, grab the name from it and value and it will set it to uh, whatever the name was so i think that's it for this and you can see if i write anything else and submit we see an error so this is a, like very basic uh, you can say validation you, you can use validation you know, validation or js a very very good react library or you can like send it to your server and validate your id and password there use the remote password there and you can also add some things to click here so you it, it takes you to a create account uh, ui so maybe this we'll do this in, a, in our next video so that is it for this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel uh, see you again goodbye